We roll into week seven here on Buckeye Football Weekly, as always, recounting the game. And this one against Michigan State, some considered a trap game, Coach, going in. Uh, a dangerous team behind in the Big Ten count. You're, you were aware of that, obviously, and the guys were. Well, and plenty of good athletes and an outstanding coaching staff and, and a history of great games with the Buckeyes. You know, there are some teams that are good matchups, and Ohio State and Michigan State always have a battle. I know you went to the history books with these guys, 74, 98. You don't have to go too far, so you bring somebody back from that 98 squad. Well, Jerry Rudzinski did a great job of talking to our kids about uh, uh, sometimes you don't want to remember certain things. And... Uh, he took away some, some great lessons for him, and our kids were listening intently and came out to play, and there's Jay Richardson starting off with a bang. Yeah, absolutely. A loss of two right there, and uh, creating their own memories here as they go here in 2006. And Drew Stanton, you know what he's going to bring to the table, so the guy's getting after him here. Well, you see Jay Richardson there again and James Laurinaitis, and our guys put pressure on him all day long. Set the tone of them going in a backwards motion there, and when your offense gets it going, it's moving forward with Bisky with the catch. That was a good-looking curl route, and, and uh, Troy found the right guy, and what a catch there by uh, Anthony Gonzalez. Uh, you know, Anthony just makes plays. 13 complete to Robisky, another 8 to Gonzalez. This one, Ted Ginn Jr. is just being himself here. Slips a tackle and off he goes 36 yards. Well, that was an underneath route with a, a curl route over top of it. Troy won underneath and here we are with a big 36-yard gain. And you get him crossing on a big third and five play. So uh, the third down conversions were right there and Beanie Wells comes in for another first down. Well, good job banging it in there and, and here you see An Antonio Pittman doing a good job of Moving forward, we're getting in the scoring zone. Troy Smith out there throwing an excuse me block there, getting in on the play from the two. Pittman, touchdown. Good effort there. He banged in there, and what is it, 12 straight games now? It is. He is up to 12 straight. Uh, he finds pay dirt, makes it 7 nothing here in the early going, so you make good on that drive and back on defense. Drew Stanton firing away again. Well, they have a good offensive attack. They've been as tough for us to stop as anyone in the last couple years, and I thought our defense did a great job putting pressure all day long. Stanton is a competitor. Uh, you know, he's a football player, and whenever he has the ball, he can make something happen. Well, the guy's going to take every chance also to get a hit on him, and he was hit a lot all day long. James Laurinaitis, that's a loss of one. There's Stephanie Bowman there cheering. Coach <laughs> Bowman's daughter. Getting him going. The punt played a big part in this game. Well, it really did. A.J. Trapasso is outstanding there, and, and uh, we had good coverage. Kurt Coleman on the coverage, and... and uh, Buckeye fans are happy, and we had a lot of Buckeye fans in Spartan Stadium. Yeah, it was a good showing, very good showing of the 73,498 in the building. You heard the OHIO chant going, and the Bucks standing up to the test here again on defense against Stanton. Yeah, well, Stanton runs that option well. We had good penetration. Vernon Golston there stopped him on fourth down, got the ball back, and here you see Troy going back to work, found Anthony Gonzalez, and, and um, this was another play that Anthony uh, suggested. Uh, during the break, during that last time the defense was on, he said, hey, on this certain route I can get open. He sure did. Yeah, pick up a 33 yards. You take that, and you also take the Aaron Petrie 33-yard field goal, making it 10 nothing Ohio State. We find Troy Smith back creating on offense again, and he goes 23 yards. Rubisky again with the grab. You know, Brian Rubisky's coming along, and, and we're really happy with our receiver core. And uh, How about this punt down inside? and. This is exactly what we needed done so we could maybe get him stopped there and get the ball back in great field position. Well, out at the four, that was his only punt inside the 20. I know you look for inside the 15. This is a big defensive stop here. There you see Curtis Terry and, and James Laurinaitis on the job. So they're punting from their own end zone, and uh, they made the mistake putting it down the middle of the football field. Yeah, finally, someone gets it, too. Ted Ginn Jr. gives him a chance on a return, and I understand he was getting the guys going before that return, saying, I'm going to take this one. Let's go. Now, you know, he, he just dares them to punt to him, and, and they did. You know, when you're punting out of your end zone, you can't directional punt as well. You might get a block for a touchdown. So here they are in that little, uh, the little boot throwback screen. This time, Marcus Freeman's there and picks it off, and we've got great field position right before the half, and here you see Troy keeping his eyes on things, and that was a play that Anthony Gonzalez called during the timeout. And uh, I'm going to have to get him on the, on the payroll or something with all these suggestions he's having. Yeah, 24 nothing. how about that, at the half. And uh, you get him, as you said, that play he called. Uh, but he said that every time he's called that play or wanted that play, 
it hasn't been thrown to him. So there was a checking off, checking down for him. Well, there's no doubt. In fact, really, the first guy was the opposite receiver rubbing off, and, and he wasn't open. And Troy has great patience, keeps his eyes up the field. And, and that touchdown at the end of the half, I think, really made it tough on the home team there. 17 nothing is one thing. 24 makes it really tough. How easy is it for you? I mean, obviously, uh, Gonzalez is a road scholar, so it's pretty easy to know he's smart. But to let those guys give you suggestions with the feel of the game because they're out there? Well, they're out there, you know, and, and they know the reactions that the secondary is having. And, and uh, you know, there's no question about it. They study the game. Mm -hmm. And they always tell you why. it's gonna. They don't just uh, pull a jelly bean out of the jar yeah. and say, hey, let's try this one. They say, hey, here's what they're doing. Why don't we run this route? And, and uh, we listen. Marcus Freeman makes the pick on defense. So, so you get special teams, you get offense involved, defense. He jumps that route there like he's seen it before on film somewhere. Well, he's seen it before on film. And remember, they ran that play the first play of the game and uh, gained about 25 on it. And uh, it was called back with a little bit of a holding call. But our guys, the thing I like about them on defense is when they see something for the first time, they handle it, but they learn from it. You know what they say, Coach. Fool me once. We'll be back for second half highlights after this.